I'm astrologer and life coach Penny Dix. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to you Aquarius. Whether you're the sun in Aquarius or the rising sign also known as the ascendant. So this is your short heads up video for all the astrological information you need to help you navigate the month of December 2022. So let's start with your second house of finance. How are your finances? Because, you know, sometimes because Aquarius, you've got Pisces on the second house, finances can sort of flow out just as quickly as they flow in, especially because you've had Jupiter here, which can be good. It could have brought in bonuses and windfalls, but you've also got Neptune and Neptune rules Pisces. So does Jupiter, it co-rules with Neptune. But Neptune has been retrograde and I think in some way it might have been making the money flow out more than it flowed in. But the good news, Aquarius, is that Neptune goes direct on the 4th. So it also what this will do is it'll make it a lot easier for you to just see clearly how you can... Um, maybe structure your finance in a better way so that you have a little bit more control over it, Aquarius. Because Aquarius, you know, sometimes you are an air sign and you do have high and lofty ideas and visions about life, but you need to get down to the practicalities and sort your finances into a way that is manageable. And I say this because also, because we've got both, um, Mercury and Venus at the beginning of the month, they're in Sagittarius, they're in the part of your chart that is to do with your kind of hopes and wishes and dreams, and they've been making a hard square to Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces in your house of finance. Now, Mercury, of course, is communication, Venus is relationship, but it can also be money. And because they've been making this hard square, it's just made it more difficult for you to see clearly, to, to, to budget in a way that you can assign to the various projects and ideas that you've got what you can afford. And I think this energy has just made it a little bit difficult for you to not um, let money run away with you. So you need to really be mindful and conscious of that and pull in the reins a bit, Aquarius. Then we have both Mercury and Venus who have been kind of hand in hand through the cosmos for a, a little while now. They then move into your 12th house Capricorn. Now when they're here, now this is the part of your chart where you kind of, it's your inner you, it's inner reflection. It's where you think about that inner self. And having both Mercury and Venus here, I wonder whether you'll be thinking about it's a little bit of self-talk. How much do people value me? How much do I value me? Um, do I kind of make life difficult for myself? All those kind of reflections, because they're still going to be squaring loosely that Neptune, Jupiter in Pisces in your second house. So just be aware of that because it is quite difficult energy. But then both Neptune and Jupiter, at, well, Neptune, of course, is direct, but Jupiter will actually move into your third house on the 20th, your, your, the sector of your chart to do with communication. And so suddenly everything is going to be super busy and there's going to be communication all over the place. It's just going to be a busy time and lots of short journeys to meet up with friends. And maybe this is going to be around the holiday season. But we also need to look at the um, at Venus again, our planet of relationship and money, because Venus in your 11th, um, sorry, in your 12th, is actually trining the North Node in Taurus and Uranus, our planet of the unexpected. Now, the Taurus for you is your fourth house. This is the part of your chart to do with your home and family. Now, having Venus 
making this lovely harmonious aspect. I think what this is telling me is that you're seeing much more clearly where you fit into the grand scheme of things within your own home environment and your family. And it, it just feels that there could be some unexpected news that comes around this time, which actually makes you feel really good and really happy. So that's something that I think could be around. And then also we have another Mercury retrograde, but not till the end of the month. It's not actually until the 29th. And it is in your 12th house Capricorn. So is this something to be concerned about? Well, you know, I always think Mercury retrogrades give us opportunities. And, you know, if you've been a bit hard on yourself, Aquarius, and pushing yourself too much, I think Mercury retrograde is giving you a chance to just slow down a bit and for that self-talk to be a little kinder to you. You know, Capricorn's a very structured sign. And I do think that you like to have a sense that you have some kind of um, structure and control over your psyche. Well, of course, the psyche is very, needs to be very flexible. It needs to be able to move and grow. And so maybe use this Mercury retrograde to just look at yourself in a different way. So that's mainly the main points that I want to talk about for your December horoscope. My goodness, December already. Where did the year go? And I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me. And please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.